In this class, we're going to design a motion study and work on the mechanical grip assembly. Let's begin. Start by opening the grip assembly. Activate the motion study resource. See how now there is an option tab displayed. In this example, we'll actually simulate the contact among components in the assembly. Select the basic motion option. This option provides more realistic simulations. Place the moving part of the grip as shown, as the part starts the motion from this position. Activate the motor command to insert a linear movement in the moving part of the grip. Select the linear motor option. Select the location of the motor on the component direction flyout to select the position of the motor or rather the part which the motor will move. Click the moving base. See, an arrow is displayed to show the direction of the motion. See, there are five speed types in the motion box. Leave the constant speed type option enabled. Let's change the speed to 42 millimeters per second. Click in the box under that, you'll see the time motion chart, which displays the inserted speed setting. And this is a new feature in SOLIDWORKS 2010. Close and confirm the operation. See the two control buttons added to the time graphic area. One for the motor which controls the start and finish of this motion. And the other one mates, which is added to the assembly to control the start and finish of the constraint activation. In the playback mode option, select normal so the part moves only once. And change the animation speed to a rate of 1.5. Click Calculate so that SOLIDWORKS can calculate the changes. Click Play. See how some more control buttons were added to control the time separately for each part and the copies of the shafts. Great, we have created a motion in one of the directions. Now create another motor for the opposite direction. Select Motor. And then click Linear Motor. Select the moving part to invert the moving side. Leave the setting speed at 42 millimeters per second and confirm. Look at the control button. Right click the mouse on the button and select off to disable the motion from that place. Drag the button to about 8.6 seconds. If the time setting is not shown, just click Zoom in the Time Graphic area. Right click the timeline at 4.5 seconds. And click On to activate the motion at this time setting. 
Right-click the motor number 1 button at 4.5 seconds and activate OFF for the motion to stop at this time. Select Calculate. See how a motion has been created in both directions. Now, let's create a contact between the parts. Activate the contact command. Select the parts which will get in contact on the selections flyout. Click the moving part and the fixed base. Confirm the command. See, another button is shown now. Click Calculate again. See, the parts are in contact now. Great, we have created a realistic motion study in SOLIDWORKS 2010. Save the animation by clicking Save Animation. Now the simulation is saved. So in this class we have learned how to design a basic motion study in SOLIDWORKS.